Um, it's a very common thing for people, um, especially early on in the relationship with the Lord, to experience tremendous, um, what the saints would call consolations, which is to say, like, we, we just feel things. We, we get overwhelmed by his love. Um, he's ever so present. Um, it, it's almost like uh, the beginning of a dating relationship. Like, everything's just intense. And that's God's gift. It's his gift to draw us closer. And then, inevitably, for everybody, this is really important to know, that will go. That's a gift, that, will, that it will go. It goes um, because when feelings are not there is when we learn what love is. Love grows when there are no feelings. And so it's a way for God to um, purify us to make sure that we're not coming to him as if he is a drug. So I remember hearing a guy say one time, uh, most people stop praying precisely at the moment when prayer can become richest. When now I'm praying because God deserves my time. Because it's right, this is what we say at Mass, right? It is right and just that we should give him thanks and praise. Another, justice is what somebody is due. God is due my thanks and my praise. So I pray not for what it is that I get out of it, but I pray because uh, God is deserving of that. It's impossible to thank God sufficiently for what he's done for us. So feelings will come and go. Just know that. Um, I have somebody who is constantly saying to me, like, I feel like I've lost him. I can't get it back. It's like, you haven't lost him. He hasn't moved. There's nothing you can do that makes him leave. Now, what he's doing is he's hiding himself right now. And he's, he's trying to make us seek him. So think of the scene in the Gospels. If you're familiar early on in Jesus' life, when he's 12 years old, the Gospel of Luke tells the story of uh, Joseph and Mary and Jesus going with all the rest of the Jewish people to Jerusalem because there's three times a year they have to go to Jerusalem for feasts. And so they go and they leave and Joseph and Mary think Jesus is with them. And, you know, they're traveling in a caravan. They get some distance away. They realize Jesus isn't with us. They go back to Jerusalem. They're trying to find him and they find him in the temple. And Mary looks at, it, at uh, the Lord and says, Son, why have you done this to us? Did you not know that your father and I were looking for you? And the point of that, one of the points of that, is if Jesus makes his mother search for him, he will certainly make you and me search for him. So just know that early on. Right now, the, the, some of us are, have been, again, living as disciples for a long time. We just haven't been Catholic. For others of us, this is entirely new. Regardless, we may be all over the place right now. Some of us are experiencing um, maybe that dryness, and some of us might be feeling the intensity of experiences. Um, they will come and go. Just expect it. Okay.